I am here with 21-year-old pianist Julian Trevelyan. He's a very fine pianist from Hertfordshire, and he's currently a second-year music student at St. Catherine's College, Oxford. And he will be performing in a recital at Hertford College um, on Wednesday. Um, Julian, tell us, what is your greatest musical achievement so far in your life? What is my greatest musical achievement? That is, that is a complicated question, but I would say being able even to play music is a great achievement and I can't ask for more than that. What did you find particularly appealing about the music course at Oxford? Well, the music course here is quite open, but also Oxford is such a great atmosphere. You have so many people from so many different disciplines all together, rather than sort of being stuck away in a conservatoire where you've got practice rooms and you sort of see people. And if you do see people, they might be competitors. Mm. And there are so many great performance venues and opportunities across the city. It's so uh, cultural and diverse. Can you uh, tell us about some of the performances perhaps you've given in Oxford? Well, the, the most memorable one that I've, I've done in Oxford uh, is perhaps the when I played Brahms' first piano mm. concerto at St John the Evangelist a couple of weeks ago. Um, and that was with the Gatti Youth Orchestra. It was great to play with them. They were, they were very fun and responsive. But also I've played at the Sheldonian before uh, Oxford Philharmonic Concert and I led the Modern Ensemble ISIS conducted by John Trail last year, which was very fun. So the, yeah, so this, the scope and range of uh, the concerts that you've uh, took part in is so vast uh, here in Oxford. Yeah. Um, let's talk, let's go back a bit. Um, when do you first remember um, playing the piano? When, do you, when did you first start playing the piano? I started playing the piano because I, uh, well, uh, let's go back. I used to sing all the time when I was sure. very small because, well, I don't know why, I just sang. Was that part of a church choir? Uh, no, I mean, I just, uh, as soon as I could sing, I was singing. Right. Uh, instead of speaking, I would sing. Yes. <laughs> um, but then I became part of the cathedral choir. But just before that, um, I had been singing some things and I decided to try playing them on the piano. Right. So that's how it started. And did you realize that you had a kind of a great musical ability at a young age? Or no, I didn't. Just I didn't. felt intuitive? Well, at the age of 13, I sort of, it seemed that the audiences enjoyed what I was doing hmm. and I could play it, so. Were your parents in particular, uh, are they particularly musical? Were they well, my mum is a Baroque violinist. Right. Um, but th they didn't force me to go into music at no. all. It, it, they helped, but they, it was all my decisions. They must be very pleased. Yeah, I think they are. Do I they, they, are. they come to your concerts and? Yes, when they can, but it's, uh, if I'm playing across Russia and Europe, it's not always mm. the easiest. Do they have a particular piece that they like to hear you play? No, well, not as far as I know. Mm. There, there are pieces that they've been interested to hear me play, so such as, uh, for example, Dear Belly Variations, which I played quite a lot last year. Yeah. Uh, what about yourself? What's your favourite piece to, to play? What's my favourite piece to play? Whatever I'm playing at the moment. Mm, what is that? Uh, Beethoven Opus 101. Wonderful. Yeah. What would you say is uh, the most challenging piece that you've um, took on thus far? <sighs> that, that is a, a, a tricky question because mm. there are pieces that feel challenging at the time where I play them. Uh, of the pieces that I'm working on at the moment, Brahms' first piano concerto is a real challenge because, I mean, the notes are not easy, but w w where are you putting the emphasis? Is it the timing? Is it the articulation? W w what do you do with it? There's a lot of runs and double octaves. What do you do with them? They're not like the Tchaikovsky. They're melodic, but how are they melodic? Mm. What are you trying to say with them? So I suppose technically difficult uh, kind of other pieces might not be as technically difficult, but there's a lot of expression that you should be yeah. getting into them and things. So difficult in um, other ways, yes. I suppose. Um, music aside for a moment, you have a keen interest in geology, yes. I believe. Tell me how that came about. Well, quite a lot of people when they're ch children, they enjoy dinosaurs. Yes. I never stopped enjoying dinosaurs. Good. <laughs> Favorite dinosaur? Uh, Favourite dinosaur? Obviously T-Rex. It's got to be, hasn't it? 
let's face it. Yes. So you did a, a, deg a degree from the Open University, is yes. that correct? That's and correct. you were how old? 12. You were 12. Um, so did, did you um, take it upon yourself to do that? Yeah. Oh, I, that's wonderful. Uh, well, I could, so I saw, thought, why not? So as I mentioned, you are currently studying at St. Catherine's College. Can you tell us a bit about the musical opportunities offered there? Well, at St. Cat's, we have one of the major music scholarships at the university, which is for the uh, repetiteur scholarship, which mm. you play for the opera, new chamber opera, which is at New College, which is, which is very interesting. But also we have a, a, a small choir and I, I organise various chamber concerts and things at our music house. And we're, we've got a concert with... Um, I can't remember the name. We've got a famous guitarist, mm. and we've got a big concert happening in Hollywell Music Room yes. next term, which is on Hollywell Street, it's part of Wadham College, opposite to Hartford. Um, Julian, twenty twenty. What do you hope twenty twenty will have in store for you? What do I hope twenty twenty will have in store for me? Mm. Lots of things. Mm. Not all of them good, because if you always have good things, you can't learn. That's true. Uh, but uh, but then. It, there's the Chinese blessing for newborns mm. is that may your life be an interesting time. So I, I hope there's many things and surprises and I hope I learn a lot because I think that life should always be learning otherwise we stagnate. Have you got any events on the horizon that you're playing in? Um, well, I've got various uh, commissions and concerts mm. as a composer and I'm spending eight weeks in Vienna in the summer. Wow. I was doing two weekend masterclasses at the Musikverein uh, last year with Stephen Kvasovic, Menahem Bressler, and Paul Madura Skoda. And I've been invited back for eight weeks of masterclasses with people such as Bashkirov, um, Lilia Zilberstein, Andreas Steyer. It's eight pianists taught by 16 masters over eight weeks it's mm. a very amazing experience and i'm looking forward to it. that's a wonderful opportunity um where else have you traveled as a pianist where else have you played well i've played uh, in russia in in the main city so st petersburg mm. moscow kazan but i've also formed the premiere of Prokofiev Fifth Piano Concerto in Orenburg, which is one of the major cities of Russia, yeah. but has never heard a piece by Prokofiev, which right. is really amazing. So you're bringing it home, yes, in a way. That was at the Rostropovich Festival. Okay, and you're uh, not only a performer; you're a very keen composer. Yes. Um, so, uh, what kind of style do you enjoy composing in most? I I would say it's sort of. Well, I'm, I, would, I would hope it's my own style, but it's yes. sort of more in the realm of atonal composition, free, but with free harmonic association. So sort of first half of the 20th century. Hmm. Um, but I'm writing a song cycle at the moment, which is going to be performed in Vienna and Paris next year. And I've just had a series of concerts in Paris. Even on Saturday, I had my sextet performed. And do you study composition as part of your degree? I do study composition as part of my degree. With, I, I, uh, with Deborah Pritchard. Right. I didn't, I didn't start by doing it here, but then I thought, well, I can have free lessons. Of course. <laughs> so so um, who taught you composition before Oxford? Uh, I studied with the last Prix de Rome winner, right. uh, Michel Merle. Uh, he, was, he was a student of Messiaen and others and he was a great teacher he he was able to give us guidance and things but never tried to take us away from our own style which really helped hmm. do you remember your first composition do i remember i have it depends what you mean by the first composition. First composition that you uh, performed. Ah, first composition that I performed. Yes, this is a funny story. Hmm. Um, it was a piece for jazz bands called okay. Nidarian Blues. And I, I, it was at Old Rio Musicians, which is, which is an amazing centre hmm. for music in Suffolk. And it, we were working with Led Bibb, and they said, we'd like some people to compose some pieces. So I said, oh, OK, let's do that. And then it didn't get played in the concert because it was too hard. Mm. 
Well, Julian, you've been an absolute pleasure to interview. Um, I hope that you enjoy your recital tomorrow. Um, remind us, what, what are you planning to play? I'm planning to play Beethoven Sonata Opus 101 and Chopin Mazurka's Opus 33. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Julian. It's a pleasure. Thank you.